I do a lot of custom builds on this channel and I get a lot of comments saying I wish I could build the same guns that you have but I don't have that kind of budget. So in this video I'm going to show you the lowest cost AR-15 I can build and trust as a reliable weapon system for whatever you may need it for. I do want to stress that yes I can absolutely build an AR for under $1500. I could even probably build one close to $600 but the goal of this video isn't to build the cheapest AR it's to build something that will actually last. I'd personally like to inspire a culture shift from building the least expensive rifle, which in my opinion I would not trust my life to, versus saving up and building out a rifle that's capable of so much more. The cool thing about this video is when you become a member of the kit page, which is not only the best way to support the channel, but it's also how you can actually build this base rifle for around the $1,500 mark. I was able to partner with the channel sponsor US Arms Co. and they were willing to offer their premium barrel for a huge discount to kit page members. There are also all the other discount codes in there which will help you save a ton of money when putting this rifle together. Building this base rifle without the help of the kit page will cost you over $1,700 and that's just the base so you're going to be saving over $150 which is obviously well worth it and again you help support the channel so I can make more videos like this. If you decide to build out the entire rifle exactly how I have it at the end then you're going to save even more money. So jumping right in the way I'm going to structure this video is I'm breaking it into three different different builds. The first build will be the bare minimum. This is the base rifle with only what you need to make it work, which of course will be the least expensive option. The second build will add a couple simple upgrades that go a long way, only adding a couple hundred extra dollars. And for the third build, I'll add all of the parts I love and run on all of my other rifles, which make it more expensive, but overall better in my opinion. Starting at the base with the muzzle, we have a Silencer Co. 3 prong in order for it to be suppressor ready. You can use whatever brand you want as they all run around the same price, but if you haven't jumped into cans yet, you can really save some money here and run whatever muzzle device you want. I've personally always loved and used the X2 Dev Group VF-18. US Arms Co. came in clutch with their discount to give you a premium cold hammer forged chrome line phosphate coated 16 inch barrel with a one in seven twist, which also has a nickel boron barrel extension. Their barrels are very well made and I've used and trusted them for a while now, not only in their US Arms Co. rifles I own, but also in a couple of my personal rifles as well. Also included in the price is the gas tube and block, so you won't have to worry about finding those. You do have the option to select either an adjustable or a non-adjustable gas block, so that can be custom to you, but in this build, I decided to just use a standard non-adjustable gas block, which does put a little more wear on the parts when shooting suppressed due to it being slightly over-gassed, but it's not too bad because of the low back pressure flow-through design of the specific suppressor I was running, which is the Silencer Co. Velo. So far, this barrel has been very accurate and very reliable. No issues at all, and I'll be sure to make an updated video with how things go in the future. I want to add to this that there is no doubt that you can buy a less expensive barrel, but one of the things that I constantly harp on is there's a couple things that you really should spend more money on, and I believe personally it's the barrel and the bolt carrier group, which I'll talk about later. So with this option, you really are getting an incredible barrel for much less than what they're actually worth. The handguard is from Midwest Industries, which I've run on many of my other builds and have loved for years now. They use an anti-rotation technology that works incredibly well and the quality is excellent. I have personally always been a huge fan of what Midwest Industries has been able to create. The upper receiver is from BCM which I've used again on other builds and have only had great experiences with them. Again like I was saying before the two places you don't want to skimp on the price in my opinion is number one on your barrel which we have you covered and number two on your BCG. So I personally always run the Sharps XP B, which I've used in almost all of my other builds and have had absolutely zero issues with them. In my opinion, they are excellent bull carrier groups and I can definitely recommend them. To save a little money on this build, we have just a mil spec charging handle and the optic that I decided to go with is from Primary Arms. It's the SLX Micro Prism Gen 2 in Flat Dark Earth. And I do have to say this optic has been absolutely fantastic. The reticle is bright and the sight picture is very clear. I personally love that it has a really positive click when switching on the illumination and the windage and elevation are easily adjustable for zeroing. I'm very impressed with this thing, especially for its price point. The entire lower was purchased as a whole from Primary Weapon Systems, and I do want to say that if you wanted to run the BCM version when it's in stock, or even the Arrow version to save some money, those are both great options in my opinion that would do just as good as this one. I went with PWS first and foremost because of its availability, and second because it came with the furniture that I wanted to run anyway, which is the BCM grip 
and stock, which are both excellent options. Because this was a complete lower from PWS, it came with a standard H2 buffer and a standard mil spec spring. And so far it's run flawlessly in this setup. Generally with a 16 inch barrel, I will run an H1 buffer. As of right now though, it's run really smooth. So I'll switch that out and see if I notice any changes. And the last two parts of this build was the sling, which is from T-Rex Arms and the single PMAG from Magpul. All together, if you used all of the discount codes provided on the kit page, you should be around the $1,500 mark or a little above, depending on how you decide to set it up. Now, the next upgrades I would highly recommend you make that won't break the bank is number one, switching out the safety selector to a Radiant Talon or something of equal value, whatever you prefer. I personally love the 45 degree Talon and I run these on pretty much all of my other builds. This makes a world of a difference in my opinion, and it's not too expensive in the long run. The next thing I would upgrade would be the charging handle. I'm running the X2 Jackal, which is my go-to charging handle for all of my builds, but you can run whatever you want. A couple other options out there that I've run and can recommend are either the BCM Gunfighter or a Radian Raptor. And the other two upgrades I would probably make are to add a BCM QD for my sling and a BCM foregrip to make shooting a little more controlled and comfortable. This should then put this build around the $1,700 mark, but again, depending on how you set it up, it could be more or less. Now for the final upgrades, which I do want to say just because I saved them for last doesn't mean they are less important. They are just some of the most expensive things you will add. So feel free to prioritize what makes the most sense to you. In a perfect world, you would build out the whole thing at once, but because that's not usually possible for most people, just prioritize whatever makes the most sense to you. Finishing up the build, I would add some offset iron sights as a backup. For these, I usually go with the Magpul offset irons as I've had great experiences with them, but you can run whatever you'd like. I would also consider a different trigger other than the mil spec option that comes with any of the lowers I chose. I know I talk about them a lot, but Trigger Tech does make a duty version, which has more of a forced reset. And I've found it to work really well in these types of builds. So that would be a great option for not a super high price point. And the last thing I would consider is some type of weapon light. I did save talking about this for last only because the options I like usually end up being one of the most expensive upgrades you will make, but ultimately one of the most important. I personally recommend the Cloud Rain 3 as a solid all-in-one system that would be very reliable and high quality. But I've also run Surefire and Streamlight options, which are less expensive and still pretty good as an all-in-one pre-built system if you aren't looking to build a custom light. I personally would consider a light to be more important than all of the previous upgrades, but because it's the highest cost item on the list, I'm saving it for last so you can determine which is most important to you. When it's all put together, the final build will end up being around $2,400 plus, which is still at a really good price to have a build like this. I would personally also set aside another $100 to buy five more PMAGs, which is a must have for training purposes. And if you wanted to get the same Cerakote, you can get this one by sending all of the parts to Weaponworks, which is the company who did this build. All the info for that will be listed on the kit page, including the code for free shipping and a free PMAG with the Moth logo on it. I do want to say the price of this build will vary depending on when you watch this video, but as of October 2023, this is what the cost of the build is going to be. At the end of the day, this rifle will only be useful if you know how to use it, and you will only learn how to use it if you get to the range and train. I know that building out cool rifles inspires people to train more, which is why I've been so excited to release this video. I want you to have the tools and the skills necessary to defend innocent life, and I know we can collectively become better if we decide to dedicate a little more time to training and helping those around you get out as well. I want you to save up and build this rifle and make it as cool as possible because I know that will inspire you to head out to the range. There's so much more coming to the channel. I'm excited to share it with you and I'll see you in the next one.